Well, hey there everyone, Laurel Beard here with a highly viewer request video, and that's making your own coffee, tea, hot cocoa mug, whatever you're fancy. All started with this photo I posted on Instagram and my email was lit up with requests on how to make them. So here I am, I'm gonna make these three coffee mugs in my video today, starting out with just a white cup. This is a cup I got from Pier 1 for $2. You can probably go to Walmart, Target, dollar store i tend to go with a white coffee cup but a solid color probably is good but i like white and i do 16 ounces because this girl likes herself a cup of coffee uh, these are bria reese alcohol inks i love them that's what i used in my original photo over on instagram that sparked all the requests so i'm just going in and adding alcohol ink i'm holding my cup upright and as i go through the video i'm going to give you tips and tricks along the way and mistakes and how to fix them etc and how to seal this because you want to be able to drink from it you want to be able to wash it etc so all that's going to be in the video today so i'm going in with two different color pinks the exact colors that i'm listed that i'm using are listed below in the supply list for you in the youtube description and the order as they show up here in the video so you can find them very easily again i am just going in adding complementary colors i'm holding my mug down because i want the drip motion uh, to be an effect on my mugs. I also have a Mr. Bottle filled of isopropyl alcohol that I got from the grocery store. And I'm just spraying that on there. Do not spray any alcohol blending solution or anything like that because that contains resin and you don't want that airborne. But spraying a little bit of isopropyl alcohol is okay. When you're using alcohol inks, you need to be in a well-ventilated area. So I have windows open all around me. And I'm also wearing some gloves here that I got off of Amazon because I don't want this stuff all over my hands. So as you can see, I'm going in and just playing around until I get a look that I want. I did go in and add a little bit of gold as well. And then to clean off the mug, to kind of give it like a, a very clean look, I'm just going with an alcohol swab, any kind of alcohol, you know, you can put it on a cotton ball or whatever. And I'm just cleaning off the mug, removing any alcohol where I don't want it. Also making sure there is nothing along the rim or the inside of the cup, uh, move, removing all of that before I proceed to the next step. Now, once you've got all the alcohol removed and you're happy, you can seal it. This is what I use. I purchased it off of Amazon. A link will be below. This is a crystal clear sealant. It's got a gloss finish. There's also one with a matte finish. And I just took the cup outside. I sprayed it into, you know, you want to do it outside. It's smelly. I sprayed it and then I let it dry for two hours and that's it done and done it's sealed and this is a mug that I can now hand wash I won't put it in the dishwasher but I can hand wash and all the alcohol is set and secure all right so I'm going to make another one here this time I'm using a couple of shades of green again all the colors I'm using are listed below this color right here is uh, a bluish green and this is what I actually used on the mug that I posted on Instagram what sparked this video request so again you can see that i'm spraying the alcohol so that mr bottle has isopropyl alcohol from the grocery store pharmacy you can get it anywhere under the sun it also helps when you go and you spray it it's going to move the alcohol ink around but also when you go and add alcohol ink after you sprayed it with the isopropyl alcohol the alcohol moves easier in other words now i've got my heat gun because i'm giving it a dry this dries really quick and this also lets me see what it's going to look like when it's dry. Uh, I am working off of a glass mat. This is a Caterpillar Glow Glass Mat that you can get on Amazon or from the Foiled Fox. It's only $25, and I love it. It's got grid lines. It's white. It's fantastic. Um, so there you have that. Working off of a glass mat or something like that, you can easily clean your surface with some of the isopropyl alcohol. So again, I'm just adding color, adding the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol, and then I'm drying it. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I get the look that I want. And I am so happy with this mug. I think this mug is gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's do one more. I'm going in with two different shades of purple. And again, I keep my cup upright so all of the alcohol ink is flowing down. I had a couple of people ask me if I dipped it. Um, no, I didn't. This is exactly how I made it. <laughs> I put on the alcohol, I, or the alcohol ink, I spray the isopropyl alcohol, and I just keep going until I like the look that I got. This is a gold that I am kind of put in all of the mugs just to make it, because now it's like a set. I'm not giving these away because they're too pretty. I'm keeping them. Sorry, folks. Uh, but I did add a little bit of gold because I thought that was a really nice touch there. And again, everything I'm using is linked below 
in the YouTube description. So here I am again removing all of the alcohol. Uh, make sure you do this. Remove. Make sure your cup is exactly how you want it to look before you spray on that sealant spray because once you spray on that spray, you're committed, all right? There's no way around it. Make sure there's nothing inside your mug or anything and definitely nothing around the rim because that's where you're putting your mouth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, here's a look at this one. Now, when I did spray the Krylon uh, sealer spray, it did kind of deepen the purples a little bit. I don't know why, but it did, but I love it. So there you go. So again, there's a look at what I used to seal all of my mugs. Here's a look at the three mugs that I made in today's video. Here's a look at the mug. The one to the left is the one that sparked all of the interest. And um, I just had a great time. I think this is fun. These are super duper easy to make, very inexpensive for gifts. Uh, end of the year is coming up. It might be something that you can get, make your teachers. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here. You can mix and, and match different companies. If you have alcohol inks from one company and the other company, don't be afraid to mix them up because that's what I did in, in, in this video to add in that gold. And uh, that's it. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm here to answer. And hopefully I covered everything for you in the video. And again, I'm always looking for viewer requests. If there's any videos you like to see, drop me a request in the comments and I'm going to add it to my list. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.